Today's daily map might be what I call the easiest daily map in the history of contingency contract. Like it is so straightforward of a map. I'm gonna show you guys how to clear in risk 8 and then afterwards max risk. To those of you risk 8 guide wanters, you're gonna be so surprised by what I'm gonna show you. To do this, you're gonna take the tags that you see over here, you take the shield guard, you take squad size 8, uh, ban the tiles at the back of the map, and then of course you take today's mission, which is the artillery targeter. This is the squad that we're gonna use. Just like that, like not even a full on 8 man squad. You take a silver ash, you get yourself a cruise, a sniper that is, and then you just bring a defender. That's all that you need for this stage. If you don't have a silver ash, go and borrow from a friend, you need him at skill 3 and 3. You may need a bit more operators than what you see here. Uh, a recommended person that I can suggest you to bring would be a gravel, uh, so that you can beat the bomb later on. Uh, you could also bring some medics if you feel that medics are necessary. You can replace Norcon with a healing defender as well. Very simple, three operators, let me show you how it's done. Abandon plot. Alright, you start off the stage by placing your silver arash right over here, facing to the left. Then you place your defender, whichever that you have brought, over here. This could also be a guard, uh, but preferably, be, preferably bring someone with very high defense. Then you place your offensive recovery sniper over here, facing to the left. Now notice we didn't take the HPC 1, and yet we've also buffed the shield guard. There are two shield guards in this map. So what can you do about them? You let them go into stage. You let them walk into the blue box by themselves. So essentially, that gives you very free risk just like that. So don't worry, Cruz will be able to handle the guys just fine. Just give us some time. Well, as soon as the artillery appear, you can go ahead and activate Silver skill. So in a singular use of Silver skill, he should be able to take out the targeters by himself. The bomb won't be able to drop just yet. If you feel that your Silver Ash that you've borrowed, not high enough level or not enough mastery, you can just take a gravel and then you beat the bomber before he moves. So you can place a gravel like at uh, where I'm pointing at right now. Because the targeters are gone and the shield guards are going to walk in by themselves, you've pretty much cleared the stage. Really, just like that. Game over. <laughs> That is why I feel like this is such a straightforward map. This is supposed to be like a incarnate of uh, East Armory, but honestly, I feel that this is so much simpler than East Armory because the drones are not dealing uh, arts damage. The drones this time around are dealing physical damage, making it so much simpler to do. Then, whensoever you feel like it's necessary, you can activate Silver skill for the last wave. There isn't really any more terrifying monster. If there was uh, two artillery targeters or three artillery targeters, then maybe this stage would have been crazily difficult. But because there's only one, it's quite simple. So just like that, risk it in the bag. Very nice. So now, how can we improvise on this to make it max risk? Let me show it to you guys. All right. So I'm going to take all of the risks that you see over here and then uh, I'm going to change out some people. So I'll keep Silver Ash there because he's doing amazing for this stage. Uh, I'm going to take Taunts, so I'm going to take KOB, I'm going to take Kelsit on skill 3. Uh, I'm going to take Sadi, the Corrupting Heart. So just like that. Five operators, uh, all six stars. Let's see how they do in max risk. Bend them plot once again. Alright, to start off the stage, I'm going to be placing Taunts in the place where I placed Silver Ash just now. Then I'm going to put Silver here. Activate Taunt skill to let him charge. Then I'm going to put Skadi Alter. So that will help to give a little bit of healing and a little bit extra attack for Silver. Followed by KOB facing upwards. 
All right, next in line, I want to bring in Kelsid already. Over here, facing to the left. Then I'm going to put Kelsid's monster facing upwards, just like that. Then as soon as the targeter has appeared, I'm going to activate QB skill, I'm going to activate Silver skill, I'm going to activate Kelsid skill to remove the shield guard above. Okay, activate one skill. I think it's still a little bit of health in the shield guard, but it's okay. Uh, monster will pinch and pierce through, just like that. Monster is done. Then yeah, I can remove monster. So the artillery targeter is gone as well. Sweet stuff. Then I'm waiting for monster to return. I'm gonna put it here. Then wait out for Kelsit skill. Alright, Kelsit skill is ready. Go ahead and activate. Seems good for what they are. Then to finish it off, if I want to activate QB skill or silver skill, I can go ahead to do that. Uh, I don't actually need to turn it on as well. It's going to be fine. I can remove monster now. So it's a kind of a boring way to end the stage, but the final 12 enemies, which is the wave of drones that we're about to see. So if I want to, I can go ahead and activate all of their skills to wipe out the remaining enemies. But I expected more out of this particular daily map. I thought this was going to be a horrifying map, but turns out it is so much simpler than I can imagine. So hopefully this uh, Risky and Max Risk Guide could help you guys to gain some inspiration for how you want to clear this stage. Alright, that's that for today's daily. I shall see you guys in the next map. Alright, bye everyone.